Hi! Today is a new lesson. Today we'll be talking about a few carboxylic acid derivatives. No, actually we'll talk about a couple. <laughs> the, da the derivatives we'll be talking about today deal with acid and hydrides and esters. There's one that I'm leaving out because I want to see if you can understand the pattern. Because when we talk about these carboxylic derivatives, we're not just going to talk about how to get to these derivatives, but more so how to take the derivative and use it as a preparation for other compounds, such as reducing an acid anhydride and then getting an ester or an amide or just another acid or primary alcohol. These are the ways and things that we'll be talking about today. But let's first start off with an acid anhydride. What is an acid anhydride, you ask? Well, there it is. You have an R group bonded to a C, to a double bondo, bonded to an O, which is bonded to a C double bondo, and an R prime. Two different R substituents, or they could be the same. Next, we'll be talking from the acid anhydrides, which I have used as AA, if you do, if you question what it means. To be able to see how you can make an acid, your ester, and so on and so forth. So here we have your acid anhydride. We're going to mix it with H2O to produce our acid. You got your R, C double bond O to your OH. Simple, right? The next, we have our acid anhydride. We're going to mix it with R prime attached to an alcohol group, and it's going to produce the ester. If you can picture it with the R, the C, double bond O, the O, it's going to substitute the H off the O and then produce the R, the R prime. Make sense? Cool. Next, we'll be talking about how to make an amide group. So we got your acid anhydride mixed with NH3 ammonia to produce your amide. You got your R, C double bond O, and your NH2. Next, we're going to have our acid anhydride. And this H is an H proton that can be used off of like an H2O or so on and so forth, or like an NAH, something to donate itself. It's going to produce an R, C double bond O, H. Now this, as we know, is an aldehyde. From this aldehyde, if we use the same reaction and compound to mix with what we used in the beginning structure of the acid anhydride, we can produce two primary alcohols. Because we get the R, C, it's going to be CH2 basically attached to an alcohol which would be a primary alcohol. But you have two of them because of the acid anhydride. So those are basic ways of preparing an ester, an acid, an amide, and a primary alcohol from your acid anhydride, which is a derivative from your carboxylic acid. Don't forget. So next we'll talk about esters. We'll be going over the same type of compounds that we use to mix to produce different type of ending results as we did for the acid anhydride. Basic ester, right here. You have your R bonded to C double bond O, bonded to an O, bonded to an R prime. It's an ester. So with the ester, we're going to start with how to produce an acid. Now how do we produce an acid with an acid anhydride? Oh, that's right. We use H2O. That's funny. We used H2O for ester as well. And you're going to produce an acid. Next we're going to see how do we produce an amide. Oh, we used NH3. Well, look at that. NH3 and ester, you're going to produce an amide. As well, now if you have your H proton added, what are you going to get? An aldehyde. Add another H again, and you get a primary alcohol. Now, this next one is something that we haven't gone over, and it deals with Grignard reagents. And remember, Grignard reagent, the most common used one is MGBR, but it could be whatever R prime that you have, substitution would be methyl group, an ethyl group, anything. Well, almost anything attached to an MG, and then the BR is just an uh, halide that you can use, such as we'll go BR, I, Cl, whichever you feel comfortable with. But in the end, it does the same reaction. So your ester makes sure your R double prime. Remember, because in ester you have your R C double bond O O R prime. So this has to be the double prime, which would make sense when you get your final compound only having R. The R prime is gone. But the two R double primes that come from the Grignard reagent in the beginning are attached to the original compound with the OH, thus giving you a tertiary alcohol. These derivatives of carboxylic acids almost have the same exact reactions. 
Another reaction that's also used for this are acid chlorides. And acid chloride has the same type of reactions as did the ester. But then you can have a tertiary alcohol made as well, or you can have a primary alcohol, or acid, or ester produced, and they all use the same reactions. So, hopefully you learned something about a few compounds after carboxylic derivatives, and hope this helps. Goodbye!